So reaction from both the candidates. Of course, there is only one winner. Let's discuss all of this with Niall Stanage, columnist for The Hill, joining us live from Washington. This was billed as a referendum on Donald Trump. Is that accurate, do you think, Niall? I think that that was a certain element in this. Clearly, uh, the race was nationalized in the sense that Democrats gave huge amounts of money to uh, Mr. Ossoff, about $23 million by some accounts. They weren't doing that because of the specifics of a Georgia House race. They were doing that to try to send a message to the president. Uh, they clearly didn't get the uh, message they hoped for from the voters. Now, given that, just how much they spent, this is the costliest, uh, my goodness, the costliest congressional election in U.S. history. They still didn't manage to win. What does that, what, what should we read into that? For Democrats, I think it's a troubling sign, Kasia, because really there have been, depending how you count, either four or five of these so-called special elections during the Trump presidency. Democrats have come close. They have claimed that they have won moral victories on occasion, but they have never got actual victories. I think that's something that is uh, troubling to Democrats now, even though this district uh, yesterday was a district that the Republicans had carried by a very large margin in uh, November's uh, elections. Yes, they're describing this as a moral victory, but it is a bit hollow given that they haven't won it. Exactly, exactly. And Democrats need to actually notch a win in order to uh, not only boost their own morale, but to show to donors and to grassroots volunteers that they can actually make progress here. Right now, it keeps, uh, what keeps happening is that they keep getting close to uh, winning, but coming up a little short. And that's clearly uh, not what they want. It's also a big problem because they want to take Congress back uh, next November when there are midterm elections. So far, the evidence for that is, is mixed at best from a Democratic perspective. Now, of course, this was a, a, a strong Republican area. Uh, the weather was terrible as well. But are we, are we, what should we say that this win was down to? It can't just be the weather. Are we seeing real energized Republicans here? I think we are. I think one of the things that I feel is a little underreported, Kasia, is that it seems to me that Republican uh, support and loyalty to the party is stronger and more resilient than people think. President Trump does have very bad approval ratings right now, but races like this show that even uh, skeptical or reluctant Trump voters are willing to go to the polls to keep a Republican in office and more to the point to keep the Democrats out. And I think that dynamic is probably going to play out in, in future elections that we see. Niall, as always, great to talk to you. Niall Stanage there, columnist for The Hill. Thank you very, very much.